Dad's birthday today. Really? Yes. Yeah. What, and I what's in these boxes? A new spatula. Really? Uh huh. Let me see a spatula. Wow, CC. <laughs> okay, so these are the boxes. Uh huh. Are they for me? Uh huh. All right. Um, I'm gonna need you to come to the side, hold the camera. Okay. Can we find out what's in here first? Yes. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Can you bring it closer? Uh, okay. Thank you, you look funny when you say, whoa. whoa. What's going on in here? <laughs> what is this? I don't know. What is this? I think it's confetti. Let's see. Bring this here. Let's see. It's a whole lot of confetti in there. You want to open it? Whoa, that's a lot of confetti. Okay, don't. Look, don't take out the confetti. Let's see what's what's written on this paper. This is whoops, careful. This is challenge. What is this? Reduce, recycle, and reuse. Plant me, and I will grow vegetables. What's going on here? Open it. Okay, let me open it. And then I'll get what's in here. Okay, this is. Oh my is gosh, a... you're not gonna believe this. Oh my gosh, open it again. I think it's straws in there. Open it, open it. Wait, wait, hold oh, this one, please. Okay. It's Garnier! Ooh. Ooh, we love it! Okay, put this back inside. No. Tomorrow we're gonna go to Mauritius again. Okay, okay, put no, this not back inside. Tomorrow. Can you put this back in? Otherwise, right, they're gonna cut their finger over here. Exactly. And no one wants to cut their fingers. Uh huh. Like when you cut your finger over here. Oh, and one of the glue force cut mm. her finger over there. What's in here? I don't know. What is it? Oh, Let's check it out. Whoa! It's a big box from Dark and Lovely. Yeah. Oh. And here's this. It can Whoa. make a funny sound. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me talk to the camera quickly. So it's a big box from Dark and Lovely, which Dark and Lovely does hair. And you've got natural hair, so that's a good start, eh? Let's so see you what's in this box. I see my hair because it's a little bit short. Really? Uh -huh. Oh. And it's going to grow. Like, what is this? Juicing duck and lovely. New, grow, strong. Okay, we can open this. So you open the one side. Mm -hmm. You open the side. Uh. Whoa! Whoa! So what is that? It's a diffu It's a candle. Yeah. And a diffuser. So and it's so pretty. Oh, I mean, a diffuser? Really? Duck and lovely, what do you mean? No, 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 I need to see what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. And then what's here? This is Grow Strong Anti-Dandruff with Peppermint. Don't take them out, Mommy. You can just leave them in there. What's this one? Anti-Breakage with Oils and Vitamins. What is this? And then this is a candle. It's a purple yeah. candle. Matches with dark Smell and it. lovely. Smell it. Mm, it smells good. Does it smell good? Try it again. Mm, it smells like purple, purple mint. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, it does. It smells really good, actually. It actually really does smell good. Oh, Papa's coming. Papa, look. You can just leave it here so that we can show him. So this is also from Garnier. What's wrong with Garnier? It's a, it's a... Ah, Doug and Lovely. Ah, Doug and Lovely. Do you? Yeah. And really? I love this one because it's so pretty. Oh, and it's also for your eyelashes. No, it's not. So what is it's, it for? It's for the straws. It's how you clean the straws. So you take out the silver straws and then you put it inside the straw when you clean it. Oh, yeah. But it looks it's like... It's not for eyelashes. Yes, but it looks It looks like... like it. Yeah, it's true. It does look like it. So, look, so. Daddy, buddy. So you don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. So it looks... So it's for the straw, mm -hmm. but it looks like it looks like for your eyelashes, but it's for the straw, really? so it can clean the straw. Really? Hey y'all, 
so it's a new video today um i wanted to just pop in and say hi um i'm actually on my way to work right now and i thought i would just pop in say hi quickly and then go to work i should be at work for at least maybe the next two three hours at the very most unless I just end up staying at work and doing some other things at work but relatively speaking I should be there for about two three hours I was called in today uh, because I need to just go sign off some things so I'm going there and um, yeah I'm wearing black I just wanted to show you the an outfit of the day this is pretty much how I go into work these days okay this is how I go into work because um, I just, there's only like maybe three, four people at most at the office. So I don't really, we don't dress up. We don't have this thing that, eh, hey, there's people at work or whatever, whatever. No. So I'm just pretty much wearing my uh, chucks, um, black jeans, black top, written friends. I got this from Cotton On, I think. Um, I've got some silver rings on. Ugh, not silver they're gold one is a sort of like a double stack you can see that and then the one is like a single and then my long jeans watch i got these rings from my sister actually because she took mine <laughs> so i got them from her but uh i'm gonna leave my camera here today uh, i'll probably go out with one of my colleagues for lunch after that so i'm gonna leave my camera here and i'll catch in with you guys a little bit later when i come back and that's pretty much it hey y'all hey y'all hey y'all it's a different day to the last footage you saw which was me at home with my family i think it is pretty much two days later i just got back from Jospobek. okay uh Jospobek essentially means <laughs> words. okay let me just let me go some my hands because they're looking kind of ashy hand sanitizer you know that kind of life um so i'm pretty much gonna show you what i got it really isn't much that's why i'm gonna show you i try to avoid doing these grocery hauls all the time even though i know some of you guys really really like them um i avoided fil filming <laughs> i avoided filming this whole week because um, I just wasn't feeling well. I feel like the flu wanted to interisha me, but failed. Uh, but one thing it did leave is a little herpes on my lip, but it's pretty much gone now. So if you guys can't see it from where I'm at right now, it means it's pretty much gone. <laughs> we are grateful. We are thankful. So I'm going to show you what I picked up um, from Just Bobek. Ooh. Okay, that was a hard knock. So... First out, what's new? Um, not really feeling the best today. I feel tired. I feel tired. Um, I just feel tired. I had a really, really long week. I was at work the whole week. Um, so I really wanted to rest today. So I picked up, in terms of rest, I mean not cook. Okay, I really didn't want to cook today uh, for dinner. Oops. I really didn't want to cook for dinner, so I picked up these two, and I feel like having spaghetti. So I picked up these two, which um, are my favorite. I felt like having pasta. So I picked up these two, which are my favorite, which are the easy warm-up ones. This is the carbonara, spaghetti carbonara. This is delicious with a teensy-weensy bit of salt and pepper. It's really good. And then another really good one is this one. This is the chicken fettuccine one. Absolutely love it. We love it. I am thinking of filming a what I eat in a day tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I picked up extra things for the what I eat in a day. One of the dishes for what I eat in a day is tuna. So I picked up this light meat tuna shredded in brine so it's already shredded we love it i don't particularly like the one that's in oil it's, it's not my jam it's not my jam um picked up a loved fave which i haven't had is this yeah i haven't had in a minute this is the pitted olives i showed you this in one of my grocery hauls i haven't had them in a minute and they're so good 
the olives that I have in the house are the Kalamata ones, the darker ones, um, the black ones. And then I picked up this authentic Greek baba ganoush because I'm thinking one of my meals tomorrow will be somewhat like a sandwich on like sandwich thins and not necessarily bread. Um, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to have this as a spread. I really want to try it out. You know how I love to, every now and again with my grocery hauls, pick up things that I haven't tried? Like that first time I tried this and I was like, what? You know? So <laughs> I picked up this. This is also the first time I've picked this up. So I think it will be a nice spread. It looks like it's going to be a nice spread. Uh, lemons, because I am out of lemons. These are the sandwich thins that I am talking about. Um... Second time I'm actually picking up sandwich thins. The first one, the first time I picked them up was, I think, a Sasco brand from the shops, from Spa. But because I was at Woolies and I saw them, I'm like, yeah, actually, sandwich thins are actually quite nice. You just cut that in half. You toast it a little bit. Shai baba ganoush. And then last out, literally last out. That's how short it, it is. Last out are strawberries because strawberries are everything in a bag of chips. And I really right now feel like having a fruit plate like with strawberries, with the nectarine, with the... Oh, my lips are watering. I'm really, really liking fruits right now. With a pear, I've got a pear in, in the fridge as well. So, yeah, let me pack this up and... Wow, I look light, I look light. I feel like I get rained, man. Okay, so I'm making a smoothie. Um, do you need to see my face? You kind of don't need to see my face, okay? You don't need to see my face, but basically I'm making a green smoothie. It's much later on, oh, half past four. So I want to have something, but not have a full meal because I'm trying to cut down on how much I eat in a day. So... Um, I want to have something filling that will hold me off till about 7 o'clock dinner time. But that's not why I'm here. Because you guys... So that's not why I'm here. Because you guys have seen me do this, like, come on, for a really long time. So I wanted to actually show you something. Um, I might get a little bit TMI, but it's fine. So I've been taking... Maybe, maybe about three times a week in my smoothies. I have smoothies five times a week. So I've been taking these, which are the Nature's Choice Moringa Leaf Powder and the Maca Powder jointly together in my green smoothies. So if you don't know, um, Maca Powder has... Maca Powder is the yellow one. I keep mixing them up because a lot of the time in the States, like if I'm watching uh, YouTubers in the States and what have you, the maca powder is always green. Whereas in this case, it's the moringa leaf that's green and uh, the maca is yellow. So basically, maca powder has great benefits. <laughs> Some of them are a little bit contagious, <laughs> but I'll say them anyway. So basically, it helps boost performance and energy. And it's also really, really good. <laughs> All right, let me just say it. It also boosts uh, performance in men. <clears throat> and it also boosts the libido of men and women. Now, I'm not taking it for libido or anything like that. It's just really, really um, highly nutritious. And the, the one major thing is that it also helps with, uh, it may improve uh, learning and memory, which is, which is like... Why not? Wouldn't want to. It helps protect nourish skin and hair and also quite helpful in uh, helping prevent and treat cancer as well. It helps with uh, stomach, sort of like um, if you have discomfort or what have you in your tummy, it also helps with that. And it also treats mood disorders. Maca also, actually, now that I remember, Maca also helps improve moods. So... I tend to be a little bit moody, but <laughs> I take it anyway. So I just basically wanted to show you. Um, I normally add just maybe half a teaspoon of each. Not a full teaspoon. Let me tell you why. <laughs> the reason why I don't add a full teaspoon of each is because this is the TMI part. You can skip this. 
is because you need to make sure you are not going anywhere the next day okay it's not that bad like it'll make you have the runs all day but um yeah in the morning when you wake up <laughs> you might just want to rush to the loo and do some things <laughs> mm. can definitely taste the powder a little bit more but um this and i feel like if you have an even sweeter juice in terms of like orange juice or something sweet apple juice or whatever it will mask the taste even more but uh for me the sweet sweet juices i just can't do i i do full on uh, cold pressed juice with my smoothies if i'm not doing it with milk but in all honesty it's it's not that bad at all and probably if you had a sweeter juice it would taste 10 times better um i like savory things i'm not too big on sweet things i don't have a sweet tooth but here and there i'll crave something sweet but uh for me i prefer something to be savory as opposed to sweet that's why i enjoy something like this um and that's why a lot of people don't like green smoothies it makes sense i get it but try it the benefits of these powders are really really awesome um it definitely for me regulates me quite well as well 6 30 now and i've just prepared myself one of those pastas from Woolworths. this one is my favorite one the carbonara the, sp the um, spaghetti carbonara with little bacon bits really really love this topped it off with some black pepper as you can see and some parsley and this is pretty much what i'm gonna eat for supper really really craving pasta for some odd reason too. hey y'all how you doing um it's the first time in about a week and a half that i'm actually sitting here so the footage that you've seen before was done like a week and a half ago and then i got ill so we're gonna get to my last vlog now we're gonna talk about that and i'm gonna show you some things but before then i i got ill I can't say really I got the flu. I don't think I got the flu, but I think the flu did want to enter me somehow because I had a little herpes thing grow here on my lip, like here. It's gone now. There's nothing there. And then just above it, like literally just above it, I got a pimple. So pretty much I looked like a bulldog. Like this whole side of my face was swollen. I couldn't take pictures, I didn't do Instagram snaps, I didn't do anything because I just felt like I looked weird and yeah, I, I, I work a lot, I spend a lot of my time working so I feel like my body was responding to just the overstress, the overwhelming long hours, long nights and uh, working during the day, my body was just not having it and my body said chill the F out, relax. So I needed to take some time and I was forced to take some time, even though maybe to you guys, you might not have seen it because the content is always pre-recorded. The pictures are always pre-done. So everything still, that's my other phone. Everything still, uh, continues and resumes as is, but I'm actually really resting in that period. So that's what I did and uh it was okay i still feel like i need a little bit more rest today as i filmed this it is heritage day in south africa so it is just a day where we culturally express ourselves through attire through tradition through social just being together just um being socially you know active you know we bry on days like this we dress up in our cultural attire some of us i don't quite do that um but it's a way in which we incorporate social cohesion of all the things that make us us in terms of south africans and it's a way in which we express it's a day in which we express our national identity and i love it today this is one of my favorite holidays along with june 16th along with what other holiday do i really 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 like june 16th is one is my favorite one i feel anyway this is a South African thing, but um, so today is that day. Um, I am going out. Oh my God, I need to get my life together. 
I need to actually start doing my makeup at some point, like in the next 15 minutes. Um, so I am going out with my family uh, for a lunch. It is 11 o'clock now and we are meeting at my parents' home at quarter past 12. So roughly takes me about half an hour to do my makeup and then I need to choose what I'm going to wear and all of that. So I have to do that. But before I do... What I wanted to share with you is in the previous vlog, as I had said, a lot of footage was lost and I was talking about the clicks thing and at the same time I was unboxing some things that I had received from Take A Lot. So I wanted to show them to you. I actually kept them on my desk because it was intentional that I wanted to show them to you before I started using them. Um, so I'm going to show you what I picked up. The first thing that came out of that um, Take A Lot box was this. <laughs> was this little kit. And this is pretty much a kit for if I want to vlog using my phone. And I feel like today would be that day. Because I feel like I've got a great phone with a really good camera and sometimes I just don't want to take my M50 out. I'm very, 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 very about my camera because I tend to leave things places, never really where we go, but I tend to leave things at home and things like that. So I got this little kit where essentially this this is what it looks like right so it can be a it's a, a tripod in which you can use to attach your phone so you can carry it like this or you can attach it even further to the tripod stick like so so it's actually quite longer and then there's this little contraption but I don't think, for some odd reason, <laughs> ah, it stretches one position. We love it. Ooh, I think I'm going to be vlogging on my phone today. And we're going to try it out. And then um, what also came out of that uh, Take A Lot package was this. These are the Wild, the brand Wild, Mermaid's Kisses Collagen Supplements. Now, we all know that collagen is fantastic to boost the quality in terms of how your skin looks. Um, it's great for hair and nails. Collagen has very, very great properties, a lot. Very, very great. Does that make sense? Collagen has got a lot of properties. Google it, check it out. And I thought that it might be time for me to start taking collagen supplements. Check it out. It's more especially for my hair and nails for me, you know. Um, Skin-wise, my skin, I'm happy with the way my skin looks, but it could always look better. So I picked that up. I had pre-ordered these and they came in that package as well. This is the Skin Creamery range. Really, really excited for this range. This is um, something I've used before. If you've been following me for a while, you will have seen this product in many of my videos, vlogs, current favorites, whatever, whatever. This is the Skin Creamery Jojoba Melon Seed Baobab Facial Hydrating um, Oil. It is proudly South African and I love that. So we support, I do want to start buying more South African produced products in terms of everything. There's this company that I follow that does linen and cushion covers and I'm just like, it's called Julie Liss or Liss Julie. I'll show you guys, but it's, it's amazing. And then um, I want to buy my stuff from there in terms of linen and all of that. Handcrafted, locally made. What do you mean? You know? Um, and then I got the moisturizer. So this facial cream has always been a number one. You know, holy grail, ride or die, always works. And it's a facial oil that agrees with me, especially in the hotter months. Because I used it, the last time I used it was around the October, November, December, maybe even January period, 2019 into 2020. And then it finished and then I haven't used it since. But I knew that for a facial oil that I was using in the summertime, it worked quite well because oil tends to be a little bit too much but you know you suss it out right and then i picked up the coconut 
jojoba and baobab everyday cream as a moisturizer so i wanted to try out a new moisturizer again packaging is everything absolutely absolutely love the packaging so it's lunch with the girls meaning the girls of the family so my two sisters and moms and then it will be i'll show you clips of that because I'm thinking of vlogging it on my phone as opposed to my camera. Um, the reason why I'm leaving my camera actually is because after that, I will, I might still need confirmation. I might be going to a braai, so I don't want to be flashing my camera at that point and all of that. So, and I got my brows threaded, so I feel normal. I naturally have very thick and bushy brows, so a lot of the time I really have I don't have to do much to my brows, but they still look quite dark and pronounced because even at this distance you can see the color of my brows. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay, love you. Bye. Black card, I feel like I'm most deep people. <laughs> I'm here with the girl. We're having lunch at... Tell the people. The rooms. We're having lunch at the rooms. In the way, I got us kids. Oskido is a DJ. Oh, Oskido is tall. He's always like? got prop. You know how Jay Z's hair looks right now? It's really messy and Oskido. <laughs> I'm a whole cat hair. Don't that but he is a legend. He's a legend in this game when it comes to no DJ. shame. And his restaurant has great reviews. Apparently, so I left my camera at home home because I left in such a rush. But I'm gonna take little clips of our afternoon and attach it to the vlog, just for you guys, just for you guys. Okay. So, do you want to tell everybody who you are? Um, so, my name is Amu. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a subscriber. She is! <laughs> she literally came up to me and she said, Hey, I watch your channel. I'm like, wait, wait. Let me yeah. do the Lord's work <laughs> and let me show her on the video. So Thank you so much. So much I really appreciate Yeah, you can take it. Thank you, OC. I really appreciate it so much. Do you want a favor? Yeah. <laughs> 